Okay, August 2022, Restricted Masters Heat 3. Heat 2 was a bit of a disaster. I ended up spinning and got involved in a bunch of mischief, so skip that one. And also the camera didn't work, so this is Heat 3. Um, again, I'm on. I'm in 6th position this time because of Heat 2 I didn't get a good result, so I moved down to 6th. And let's have a look at this start. See, again, I'm losing. I'm really losing a lot at the start there, you can see, and that's, that's not me um, getting late. I think it was just that the throttle was not, I'm not getting as much power out of the engine as I should be. You can see there I've got the flap open, which is, um, which is good because it was actually overheating a little bit in the first race. So um, this is giving it more air, so stabilizing the temperature a bit, but nevertheless, um, I still haven't got the right jet in for some reason, so it wasn't the best here. Anyway, so I'm, I'm in uh, about sixth, sixth position here because I lost quite a few place, places, maybe two places. I think, I think. Anyway, so, and I'm up behind Mo. Um, Mo's doing a really good job in this race. Um, because he, he ends up in fourth, I think. Or maybe he's in fourth now. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, so there's one, one position to go. But, um, yeah, basically Mo, Mo's doing really well here. Um, I thought I might be able to get him on the first few laps, but he was really difficult to get close to, actually. Oh, there we go. That's right. Kazabor has a bit of an issue there. So we go up. Mo's in fourth and I'm in fifth. So actually, I didn't lose any places on the start. I thought I did, but I made it up a lot on the braking, I think. Anyway, so Mo's doing really well here because I feel like these guys in this race, um, we're literally only a couple of seconds off the lead here. So, and it's interesting. Mo keeps looking around because he knows I'm there somewhere. <laughs> But he's, uh, he's not sure if I, where I'm going to go, if I'm going to do something crazy. But, um, yeah, I like to be fairly sensible. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. Although, we'll wait and see what happens. Um, but, yeah, Mo's doing really well here. He's keeping up with everyone. Went a little bit wide on that corner, and I managed to get a little bit closer to him. Um, but I feel also with the jet that I've got at the moment, it's going to be difficult for me to pass him on the straight. Oh, way too much oversteer there, so I lost a whole bunch of time. I keep going too deep into that first apex. I really need to keep it tight. And there we go. You can see how much I've lost on that last corner just because I didn't get a good entry up the hill. I really like that corner. Getting it nice and deep. And let's see if I can catch up any bit. There we go. I'm catching a little bit in that corner, but he's getting away very well with the exit though. And again, I really feel in this race, we were doing much better in terms of keeping the gap to the leaders much more because um, I really felt in the first race that the leaders were really just getting away a little bit too much um, and there's actually uh, I believe 14 people in this field so up in fourth and fifth is not too bad especially considering we're both oh and that corner I I literally turned in too sharp and I had to turn out again to stop running over the bump so I lost a bit of time there but uh, like I said, I really feel like I'm just hanging on to Mo here. Maybe catch him a little bit into that corner. And there you go. You can see Darren Formosa is in the lead, but he's only one corner ahead of us. So maybe about four or five seconds, uh, which is pretty respectable, I think. Oh, see again, I hit the, I hit the uh, apex on the inside. So I think I was a little bit ratty in this race. Mo's getting really good acceleration out of the corner. And then coming into the straight. Ah, oh, that was much better. See, I'm kind of pegging him when I when I can do that corner right, I'm begging him. But not really catching him there. I think I'm really catching him probably most in this corner here. Because I feel like I go really deep into there and then although he's doing really well on the exit, maybe into this corner I can make up a little bit more. Oh see, he goes a little bit wide there. Wasn't too bad that lap. But that gives me a little bit of a run. Let's see into here. See, that one I think I was a bit tighter. And as I break there... Now he's actually got a really good exit coming out of that corner. So he's going up the hill really fast. So that, that lap is pretty much pegged and I nearly went off there. But again, look at that. Uh, the, uh, second and third that is ahead of him. They're only maybe two seconds in front. So that's pretty good. And again, that corner, trying to put your left wheel on the curb on the entry is really tough. 
and the back is like dancing around everywhere. See, Mo went a little bit wide there and I'm catching him on the brakes. And I think, I don't know if he was actually trying to cover me there. Maybe he's forgotten that I'm behind him at this point. Yeah, so in there getting a little bit more confident. And again through here, I really need to be super stable. That wasn't too bad actually, but he's just, he's got a bit more grip and you can see he's looking around. He's not sure where I'm going to go for the pass. But he's getting really good exits. He puts his, uh, his left wheel a little bit on that curb, but similar to me, probably really doesn't want to touch it that much. And here I go. I thought this is my only opportunity, so I put my nose down. Didn't quite get close enough and lost all my momentum. But um, we unfortunately didn't hit each other, so that was good. And again, with these sprint races, they are so short, there's not a lot of time to really figure everything out. But, um, yeah, I think Mo did a really good job, job in this race. Um, I just couldn't get past. Uh, he, was, he was very quick. And actually, it was really interesting looking at the lap times afterwards. Uh, we were only about two or three tenths of a second off the leaders. So they did like a 41.7 was their best, or 41.8 or something. Um, and Mo did a 40... 42.3 and I did a 42.2 so um, we were literally only a couple of tenths off the leaders so I think we can be pretty proud of that performance.